Okay, so now at this point, let's talk about closing the ceremony. So this is where uh, something like a, a, a discard bowl comes in handy. You know, for example, if somebody has a little tea left in their cup, you can just pour it in there. Um, and that's also, in a, in a tea ceremony, we're doing multiple teas. I mean, this really goes beyond the scope of this class. But um, if you're doing multiple teas, I also offer, say to people, hey, if we're going to be drinking a lot of tea, if you need to dump a steeping out, feel free to put it in this bowl. That's another way that I use this bowl. But I don't keep it on the table, you know. Uh, if, if I'm not using it, I put it away so it's not sitting on the table. And then you dump your leaf from your pot into this bowl. Um, make sure, don't make the mistake of doing it like this because one day or another, if you're doing that, you're going to smash your pot on here. So like gently tapping it like this. And then I flip it over and I pour a little water in it. And then get more of that leaf out. And then I just reach in with my finger. And now that's all clean. And then I just, I wouldn't necessarily, that part I would do when people are sitting here, but then I would let everybody go. You know, we're done. Thank you so much for joining me. It's really awesome. Come again, you know, whatever. Um, and now everybody's gone and I would start cleaning up. So basically I just stack up my things, my cups, and I take them over to the sink. Now, never wash your pot with soap and water. If it's, if it's a glass pot, whatever, it's fine. But like, again, a pot like this, we talked about how the clay uh, is absorptive. So if you're using some scented soap on it, it's going to absorb that. And now uh, as your sensitivity develops, you're going to start smelling Dawn while you're drinking your tea, which is not <laughs> something you want to have happen. Um, now, guest cups. Okay, so I actually do wash these with soap and water. The more professional way to do it uh, would be if you have an actual machine for sanitization. But you don't just want to... And I find there's no scent on these. And again, we talked about how even though these are clay, they're glazed, so they're not going to absorb that soap. And of course, I do use an unscented soap, but it is very important. I never wash my cup with anything but water uh, because I'm the only one who's drinking out of it. But with your guest cups, you definitely want to make sure that they are uh, disinfected by washing them. Okay, so you do wash these. Everything else, don't wash with soap and water because nobody's putting their mouth on these things. Secondary vessel, your pot. So there's no reason to bring soap and water into the equation. Definitely use hot water when you're washing. Um, but also just be very, still maintain the mindfulness while you're doing this, okay? That's again, part of the practice. Um, for, for no other reason than these things are very fragile and if you're, if you're absent-mindedly doing this, you could easily break your pot or your cups or something like that. 